Hi there. Well, today I am going to be working on some galvanized metal buckets and I got inspired by the cover of this Country Living magazine. I really love all of the colors and the flowers on here and they're all being displayed in these cute metal buckets. A lot of them are antique, like antique metal buckets or antique tins that are in the pictures in here. I got so inspired by the cover of this magazine, I decided to turn some of the buckets that I have into something similar and try and get this look. So I'll show you what I have and then we'll get started on fixing them up. Okay, I have a couple of galvanized metal buckets here. These are just, you know, your basic inexpensive buckets. This one has this cute little wood top on the handle, which I really like that. This one I've had for a while and it's a little rusty and I have actually used it on a lot of projects when I've been working outside in the summertime. But I'm going to uh, paint this one and get it fixed up as well. And then I have this uh, galvanized uh, bucket that came uh, with a Christmas gift in it but I am going to repurpose this. And I also have this. My daughter gave this to me from a friend of hers who uh, was just getting rid of some stuff. And so I'm going to see if we can repurpose this and give it a new look. And then the final thing I have here is this necklace holder. It is like a metal or cast iron. Um, it looks like branches with a bird on top. And it's just a little stand, just a little necklace stand. So I'm going to paint that and I'll actually just use that for displaying uh, necklaces that I have for sale in my booth. So these are the items that I'm going to work on. And my inspiration is from the cover of this magazine. I just love all these flowers and the galvanized buckets that they're in. That's my inspiration. I'm using my blow dryer to heat up the stickers that are on the buckets and remove them. That works really well. And then I'm gonna give these all a really good clean. If I want these buckets to look their best, I really need to clean off all of the stuff that was on them and the stickers and just give them a really good wash. And you know, I found that it's the same thing with my mind. If I don't clear out the bad thinking and the bad thoughts that I have, I can't make room for the new thoughts and the good thoughts. So when I start thinking things like I'm not good enough or talented enough or I shouldn't be doing this, then I just remember what the Lord says about me and that is that I'm chosen and accepted and His beloved. The first two items that I'm going to paint are this necklace holder, then I'll be painting this uh, mail organizer. And I'm going to do both of them in white, so I'm going to paint these together. I'm going to be using the DIY cottage color paint in white linen. Word says that we're not to be conformed to this world, but we're to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. And so I want to encourage you guys, whenever you have bad thoughts, just know that they are not yours. You don't have to accept any thought that comes into your head and you can replace it with truth and with love and with light. So something I always remind myself is that God loves me and he is always with me wherever I go, whether it's, you know, to a store or on a trip or, you know, whatever, on a walk, he is always with me and he'll never leave me nor forsake me. This one I'm going to do gray. This is the gray skies in the DIY cottage color. For these two buckets, I am going to paint them in this really pretty pink color from Annie Sloan. This is a chalk paint and it's called Antoinette.
when I opened this little can of paint, I was surprised to see it was almost as hard as a rock. It broke my little butter knife here. Um, but I just added water and I kept stirring it up and I was determined to bring it back to life so that I could use it because I really wanted to use this pink color. And so I added water until it was about the right paint consistency and then I just went for it and I painted it on and I think it worked. I went to the graphics ferry and I found some of these French labels and floral images that I thought would look cute on these cans. So I'm going to cut these out and apply these to the cans here. Here I'm folding the edges right along where the label is and then I'm going to get it wet and then tear it off so that it has more of an aged worn look versus just cutting it and having a straight edge. Instead of sandpaper, I'm using a wet washcloth and I'm just doing a little aging with that. Next I'm going to use some white paint and I'm going to do a little bit of dry brush technique on it just to add a little dimension. To apply the labels to the buckets, I'm using Mod Podge and I put that on both the back and the front sides of the label.
I'm going to seal the paint on these buckets with some white wax by Annie Sloan. Well, what do you think about how they turned out? I hope that you were encouraged and got some inspiration from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless.